hello guys welcome back to a new video and in this video i'm going to show you how to install this nebula theme and it is a one of a kind of theme because it has a separate menu to edit your theme yes i said it right and you will love it when you see it okay and i'm going to show you some key features about this in this shot now So as you could see like there are some features which are really really good and it stands out with like different than other themes okay and I love this because it's different from others so yeah and now we're gonna install it uh, via blueprint uh, one of the dependencies is blueprint you need to have blueprint installed in your panel if you don't know how to install blueprint in your panel it's really really easy you can see my video guide and if you have any doubts you can join blueprints discord server okay and now i'm gonna show you how to install it so first thing first you need to download the blueprint file which i have downloaded already you need to connect to the ftp server okay your machines ftp okay the place where your panel is installed so i'm just gonna open this readme file okay and this is all about how to install it and because i'm showing you you don't need to read this so you need to just drag this file over here just keep in mind that you drag it on a file and not in a folder because we are not supposed to install it in a folder we are installing it outside a folder so first thing first and now we are gonna follow all the steps so when we drop this file var okay var ww and terror tile as you can see over here we are in this location if you don't know how to go i'll show you okay the first time you connect to a server or your panel you will be in this folder here yeah, root okay if you are using root access but if you are using any other access then it will be a problem for you so just do backspace over here come to var ww terror tile and just paste it here you just need to drop the file in here so that's it now we need to go to our this file location in our panel okay i just installed this uh, blueprint so it's really really easy it just takes about five to ten minutes and it's there so control c control v and we are gonna install nebula now damn this is really good oh my god this developer is all in bro i i can't just say like developers these days are becoming really really creative with their stuff okay so now we have activated nebula on our panel let's log in panel.googleplace.com oh my god this is the panel nice so will enter the panel now the designer so now this is your designer this is a different part where you can do your designing or additions to your panel like um, adding some links to your main panel and those kind of stuff this is what this panel offers okay so first thing first i'm going to show you this amazing thing okay you can add links okay over here so i do have a billing panel for this okay i'm gonna add that and billing from my previous video so i already have it installed so i'm gonna just put it in here and for this support thing i'll put my youtube link okay so i'm gonna put my youtube link and here you need to just put the last end of it let me just show you uh, i'm gonna copy my discord li invite link give me a sec copy link paste it okay so this part you need to leave okay only this part and same for the github also so you need to come here copy your name so for example this is my github profile name copy and then come here and then paste it remember you don't need to keep slashes in the end if you keep slashes in the end then it will cause issues so i'm gonna just save it okay 
and this is done over here okay so i'm gonna show website link you can also disable that option and i'm also gonna add an alert so this this icon i will show when i write something over here welcome to my panel okay and i'm gonna select this icon okay and i want it to be dismissed okay and this is the position how it will come so the that's done you can also select colors and also customize colors these are some pre-made templates over here you can use it okay and you can change like anything you want over here so when you change the color it will appear over here okay i don't know the exact colors over here so i'm gonna just guess this is something and yes it changed to blue every white text in the panel just changed to blue so you can play around with this panel okay it's kind of easy and this is your login page how it will look and let's just save this okay and move on to the next one so here you can put your custom icons for everything but here are some like of the options you get so you can set up uh, some icons over here okay and if you have noticed these are the buttons which we had added before all the buttons for support this will open my youtube channel as you can see here it opened my youtube channel and this is for the billing panel which i installed earlier and this is my github and this is my discord okay so yeah that's it and you if you want appearances of the sidebar you can customize over here also there are a lot of customization over here in this panel you can change the rounded images and those kind of stuff okay this is all about like uh, what uh you know this admin section is about here you can disable that also so we'll gonna save that and move to the next one yeah you can set your background i have already put a link over here so yeah i just pasted the image in the discord and then copied a link and pasted it over here but it will not work after certain time because of discord's changes in this system so what you can do is you can use any websites and upload in there and then put a link over here and you can change all this kind of stuff over here the transparency and all so for example this is one of the transparency so it became lighter okay you can also remove the watermark if you want you can keep the watermark it's really up to you and key binds if you're using windows a majority of the people use windows so we'll keep this only key bind okay that's for mac users who use mac and these are the graphs if you don't want the graphs to be shown in the server okay i'm going to use this keys because it looks really good i'm going to show you this this keys over here those are the keys i mean the start buttons not the keys so yeah and this is about your login page you can add a logo over here if you don't want a watermark of nebula where you can just save it and you can remove it that's it and you can add also a custom background also to it it's your wish or you, what you want to add okay so this page is like uh, whenever you install more mods or add-ons to the, uh, this panel uh, it will show that okay automatically updated over there with the icons so that it is and you can reset the uh, panel directly from here so if you don't want any of the changes for example this is my panel now let me just copy the url and open it in the side copy paste okay so this is my panel okay i'm gonna just reset it it takes some time depending on the changes you did okay dismiss and i'm gonna reload it and here see it's back to default and that simple it is to reset a theme so yeah and if you want to go back to the editing area for example you close this tab by mistake nothing to worry about go in your admin panel over here okay sorry over here and then go to this puzzle thingy over here so this will be coming only if you have installed blueprint so you need to install blueprint so here and then nebula and your editor is open so this was it for this video guys and i will see you in the next video but keep in mind that if you have any suggestions about future videos which should come on this channel please let me know Thank you very much and see you guys in the next video. Till then, tata bye bye and stay safe.